Did you know that this camera sold the Eiffel Tower to someone not once but twice? Victor Lustig was one of the greatest con artists who pulled off one of the biggest scams of all times. In the May of 1925, while pretending to be a French government official, he checked into a well-known hotel and he invited the top businessmen from the French scrap metal industry. He told them due to engineering mistakes and expensive repairs, the French government wishes to sell the Eiffel Tower for scrap to the highest bidder. But he told them no one can know about this as it was a very confidential information. Looking at his charisma and intellect, one of the dealers, Andre Poisson, fell for his story and signed a check of 1.2 million francs in today's money. If this is not crazy enough, then listen to this part. A month later, Lustig returned to Paris and tried to run the same scam and someone again fell for it. But this time, the police almost caught him and he fled to the United States. Victor Lustig used 47 aliases, carried dozens of fake passports and knew five different languages. But what he did next almost shook the entire US economy. He masterminded counterfeit banknote operation for which he was eventually caught in 1935 and he was announced as America's most dangerous con man alive. Later he was sentenced for 20 years and in 1947 he died of pneumonia in the jail. Tell me in the comments if you knew about this scam.